Tonight, for the first time, the three front runners in the race for Louisiana governor will share a stage. The face-off is at the Union Theater on the campus of Louisiana State University, just miles from where one of them will lead the state for the next four years. Democrat John Bell Edwards shocked the political world with his win in 2015. The people of Louisiana want to keep moving forward. Two Republicans want to send Edwards packing from the governor's mansion. Congressman Ralph Abraham is in his third term on Capitol Hill. From day one, we will attack the budget. And businessman Eddie Risponi, who founded what is now one of the largest engineering and construction companies in the country. And we need someone with a serious business skills, someone who knows what a big budget is. Listen tonight for the differences in how they stand on key issues like taxes, health care, and education. The first governor debate starts now. First, a Republican businessman who founded industrial specialty contractors, Mr. Eddie Rasponi. <laughs> Second, a Democrat currently serving as Louisiana's governor, Mr. John Bell Edwards. And finally, a Republican congressman currently serving his third term representing the 5th District of Louisiana, Mr. Ralph Abraham. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. Lie, you are Governor. just 100% false. That's a lie. No, no. No, no, sir. No, sir. Okay. We're going to get Mr. Rasponi in on this, give him a chance to respond to this as well. Mr. Rasponi, you have 30 seconds. It's fun to watch two I'm politicians sorry, go after each other. I'm just a business person. My opponent has no choice but to try to nationalize this election because his vision for the state of Louisiana is one that would take us back to the failed policies of Bobby Jindal. Do you think this governor's race here in Louisiana is a sign of what to expect come 2020? Well, I would say this. Um, I think Louisiana is going to send a message to these liberal Democrats around the country and the ones we have here. Our governor's one of them, you know, that they're not going to go along with this, this agenda that they have. And we are less than two hours from polls closing for the Louisiana general election and we have live team coverage coming to you tonight at 6. Yeah, we will be checking in with NBC Local 33's Kennedy Walker at the Secretary of State's office, Harrison Golden at Governor John Bell Edwards camp and Kellyanne Biley from the Eddie Risponi watch party. Our very own Kelly Ann Bali with another very experienced political analyst in his own right. Kelly Ann, good evening. Uh, fireworks tonight on and off the football field. Let's take a look at the governor's race. Still at 97% of the precincts. We haven't even gotten 100%, but of course, our, our expert across the room, John Cuvion, called this one. Uh, John Bell Edwards, 51% of the vote here. Eddie Risponi, 49%, and this one was very close all night long. Let's move on to the next race that we called earlier. This was the first one that John Cuvion called for Secretary of State Kyle Ardwan, 60% of the vote here. Gwen Collins Green up 40%. If you remember just a year ago, these two were battling it out for this when there was a special election for this uh, particular seat. So uh, Kyle Ardwan re-elected as uh, Secretary of State for the state of Louisiana. Good Sunday morning to you. Thanks for watching This Week in Louisiana Politics on your local election headquarters. I'm Fred Childers. We're going to start the show off a little differently today. Obviously, I'm joined in studio here by Senator John Kennedy, Republican from Louisiana. Thanks for coming on the show, Senator. Thank you for having me, Fred. Which was, you were at a, uh, a Trump campaign rally yeah. uh, in Monroe. Louisiana. Uh, this is for the gubernatorial Republican challenger mm -hmm. Eddie Rasponi. You got on stage mm -hmm. and you basically called Speaker Pelosi dumb. Mm -hmm. You've gotten some uh, you've gotten some criticism from that. Mm -hmm. Do you regret saying it? No. Um, I'm, I meant no disrespect as I said but I think it was very accurate. I think what the speaker's doing is not only dumb it's dangerous. This is going to be the first partisan, 100% political impeachment in the history of our country. 